How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the auto peel feature on your Zebra printer. Huh? Nice. And this is specific to the Zebra printer. Unfortunately it will not work with the Dymo. It will not work with Rolo style sausage printers. Won't work with the Brother QL1110NWB, but it might work with some of Brother's higher end printers. You'd be able to buy the customized option. It's mostly a feature you're going to see on the Zebra thermal printers because they specialize in customization of the printers and the workflow to fit your business's needs. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the explanation and the setup. So here here we are with the ZP450. I believe most, if not all of the ZP450s come with the auto peel feature on it. You don't have to use it, but you can, it's there, it's an option. And what the auto peel does is it separates the label from the paper for you. So you just have to take it and put it on the package. Saves you a little bit of time, thus makes your workflow faster. This feature is not for everybody. It'd be very specific to your business. So here's our ZP450. The front lip here, and you pull on it, it has a little roller and then there's a sensor here. And that means that this printer is self peel, auto peel capable. And in order to set it up, you're gonna pull the labels and instead of just pulling them out and closing it, you're gonna open this up and you're going to thread it down and you're gonna wanna pull it all the way through and then stop it at the beginning at another label. You can feed a label there and there it goes. It should spit out exactly one label like that. We're gonna send a print signal to the printer and there we go, we have an auto peeled label that we can just stick on our package, save a little bit of time than having to rip and then peel. One of the downsides is you can't print out a string of multiple labels. You can't just print out like 10 labels and then walk to a location and then label 10 packages. It's just going to spit out. I'll show you that right now. Say we're sending three packages, so we're gonna print three labels. And as you can see, it just spits out three labels and kind of makes a mess right here. So yeah, hopefully this would help somebody's business out there. I did work at a pharmacy that did one package at the print station at a time and it actually really helped with that workflow. So maybe you have a business where this would help and I figured this video would help bring awareness to this little feature, the auto peeler. And if you're looking for a printer on eBay, look for one with this if you want this feature. Usually it's not advertised in the listing. You're just gonna have to physically see this little mechanism right here and know that that is the auto peeler. If you have any applications to where you think this auto peeler would be advantageous, let me know about it in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.